Oh. Alrighty, day two. We are gonna be going to the luge and the gondola, and then we're gonna have dinner on top of the mountain. Day two of the vlog. Excited to have you guys with us. Next to the mountain. wanted to mention, I forgot to say, that in Queenstown, obviously, summer is here for Christmas, whereas back home in Canada, it's winter, there's snow, so what better way to use our time here than to enjoy some Christmas music, get in the festivities of things, because when we go back home, in about a week's time after our three-month trip is over, it's Christmas! There's gonna be snow, there's gonna be Christmas trees. One thing I've noticed here is obviously during their Christmas time being summer, there's not as much Christmas festivities as there are in the Western world where we just have snow. Definitely makes for a great, yep. <laughs> One of the things I'm noticing being here is, I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm stuffed. New Zealand obviously has some type of allergy that's affecting me really bad, but it is what it is. I uh, make the best of it. We're about to start our journey for the day, making our way to the bus and heading to the gondola, the luge. I'm, I'm very excited. Are, are you excited? Yes, très excitement. Right, so, a little colder today. It is what it is. Super excited to go on the luge. Where are you? Over here. We head into the bus stop right now. If you miss it, you're hooped. Bus only comes once an hour here. Is it even going? Yeah. I'm feeling definitely ready to be outside. Never done a luge before. Looks like a lot of fun. Sean has done it before. We are adrenaline junkies. No, don't put that in there. Oh. Loud as hell on this bus. Made it into Queenstown again. Gondola is right behind me. It's harder to see, but that's taking us up to the top of the mountain where we're going. That's where we're having dinner. So as you can see, we are here. There's indoor skydiving as well as the gondola to go up. Just a sort of adrenaline area. If you're an adrenaline junkie, this is where you come. There's skydiving, luging, whitewater rafting, jet boating, canyon swing, bungee jumping, you name it. They've got it. It's quite the hike to get here when you take the bus, but makes it totally worth it. When you get to the top, you're going down Mario Kart style. So obviously we're going up a big mountain here. You get a nice little gondola to yourself. You could share with people up to a maximum of four, but we made our backpacks sort of like an extra person because we didn't want extra people in this gondola with us. Like I can't see like these. Okay, there. <laughs> Are you nervous of heights? <laughs> I just always think the worst when I'm up high. So we're just outside the main area here. Looks like you gotta walk up a little bit of a decent, a decent hill. Obviously at the end of that is where you start your luge. So one of the things that we have to do is be safe. You always gotta wear your helmet. We scan our pass and away we go down the luge. Was it, that was though? very fun. I was bloody going F1 speed, I felt at one point. So fast that I almost flipped and almost flipped. <laughs> so first couple runs are amazing. Oh my gosh, the blue run. So the green run is the, the first time rider run, which it was pretty fast because that was the first time I've ever done it. But the blue run, it's got some hills, you get some speed. It's so far, I'd say this is like one of the funnest activities I've done so far. Would you say the same or different? Definitely, yeah. We we like the adrenaline. You get to go fast or slow, like however fast you want to go, really. And it's a great time. So we finished our five luge ride.
rides. It was so fun. If you like adrenaline, even if you don't like adrenaline, it's not like jumping out of a plane or anything like that. You get a lot of exhilaration, but you can go as fast or as slow as you want. You can make it how you want. Very fun, wind in your hair, nice and refreshing. You get a nice gondola ride up every time. You get nice views of the mountains and the river. Highly recommend. Okay, now that we have a couple hours before we eat, we're just gonna have a snack, a cup of coffee, and enjoy other people going down the luge. Yeah. So I got a peppermint tea, because that's my fave. I'm kind of waiting around. Our timing was a bit off in terms of how long it would take to do the luges. You know, I can't complain. View that we have, it's great. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's, <laughs> it's good enough. <laughs> So the next part, the Stratosphere restaurant on top of the mountain. We have a reservation for 745, books up pretty quickly, but they have a nice little reception kind of area and you can actually watch the gondolas coming up and going back down. One of the extra things about this place that makes it super interesting, it's a 360 degree view, full glass panels around the entire restaurant. If you book online, you get a guaranteed window seat, which is what we have tonight. Food style is buffet. So I was actually so excited to eat that I forgot to take video. So use your imagination. There is like a plethora of things to get. There's so much dessert and the view is incredible. Okay, so we just finished our dinner. I am stuffed. There was tons of different options to eat. Vegan, gluten-free, vegetarian, meat. They had a huge dessert section. It was really good stuff though. So there we have it. That was the day we are, we're going downhill as you can see. Pretty incredible. But with that being said, I am going to the drugstore to get some antihistamines oh, that Lord, hopefully help. Uh, now we get to enjoy the ride down. Luz, you can quickly look at the loose cheese. Oh, shout. <laughs> Guys, don't look down if you're afraid of heights. Woo! Oh, look at the bungee. It looks kind of sketch because there's just rocks right there. Especially if you've just eaten a big meal. Definitely don't look down. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's a nap. One of the things you'll see is goats. Just the baby. Oh, he's in on top of the tree. This whole mountain is filled with goats, a type of billy goat. I'm not sure, but... Is it not a mountain goat? So guys, we are now on the ground. We are heading back to our Airbnb. Gonna get a few groceries before we go. Probably gonna get an Uber home because the bus system is so-so here. So guys, that concludes... No. That concludes the day two vlog. Was it day two? Yeah, it was day two. You just have to cut that part out. And that concludes the day two vlog. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to watch more. Woo! I didn't say stay tuned for day three. Okay guys, so that concludes day two of the vlog. Make sure to like and subscribe for more and stay tuned for day three in Queenstown. Woo!